Victory at F Starfighters, my name is Carlin Jones, and this is a Starfighter full episode review. And today we are continuing the killing. Okay, I just like I want to keep saying that title in like such an epic movie voice. Like I've been saying it like all day. Like <clears throat> the killing <laughs> I, I just feel like that's what you have to do for a show like this so this is going to be episode two of season one um pilot episode was really good i think the story and the characters were very very good i think the cinematography was also good but but also i know this is a lot older show but i'm watching it for the first time now and a lot of the cinematography tricks they do uh, on this show, or at least from the pilot episode, is very commonly used now. So I'm, I'm kind of like burned out on it, but I, I'm not going to hinder that uh, against the show. But pilot episode is really good. There is definitely this um, lingering mystery going on of who uh, who murdered this uh, this poor young lady, right? Or you know. I'm, I'm very curious to see what she was doing. Clearly, she shouldn't have been where she where she was. But again, she definitely didn't deserve to die. But we'll, we'll, we'll see. I'm sure there's a lot less going on here. Uh, the guy who's running for mayor, I know he has something to do with it. Which, by the way, I am not like putting up with any bullshit from any characters. I was already pissed off episode one when that, when that sister, false, or she, she did like false. Um, uh, Statement. She gave a false statement to the police officer regarding to where her sister might have been, because she's like, "Oh, I'm just gonna check it out myself." Like that type of stupidity. I'm not doing it at all. At all. I'm not gonna have any sympathy for whatever ever happened here. Who was? So I'm letting that. I'm letting that know. I'm letting. I'm letting that know. No, right now. Right now. So, so yeah, yeah, very interesting. Very interesting. Um, um, I can I can totally tell the main, the main character, character of the show. The show. Um, um, I guess there's I guess no there's character, 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 but the character, the character who, is, who is the detective, detective of the show. Of the show. I can tell because you know you know Helen of Pilot. She's off. She's supposed to go to the same place. Supposed to start a new life or whatever. I can tell. I can tell that she's gone to one on one stay in Seattle to solve this case. You know. You know. And. I mean, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. There's obviously, obviously two more two seasons, seasons of the show. Oh. <laughs> there are three, three seasons, seasons of the show. show. So really, maybe, really, maybe, 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 I I also read somewhere online it was like the Netflix show. So I mean I mean I don't think, think this is on Netflix. Netflix. You're more you're more sure. Yeah, they're 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 they're
to being a mortician, right? Oh, this is about to be crazy. Oh, her body's about to. Oh, especially if she drowned. If she if if she drowned, her body should be like puff, like a like a blowfish. It's disgusting. Um, but yeah, morticians. I just I just don't want to become numb to like getting used to seeing dead bodies and like insides and stuff like that. I can't even imagine being accustomed to that. Is that her job? I don't think that's the detective's job to do that. I'm sure they could, but no. Again, this actress who plays a detective, I'm sure she was only cast for the, her looks. Like, she has these unique looks of like, uh, when in a scene is like intense and they just need something to cut away to, just put the camera on her. She just, I don't know, she just looks so like, she has a lot of baggage. I love it. Based on the Danish series. So is this based on a TV show or a book? Uh, I, I kind of don't want to check. Well, hold on, I'll check. Is this a... based on the Danish TV series. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, what about this fool? They're clearly not in the right space to quick fucking questioning them that night they found out. <laughs> yeah, not yet. They will, though. Best believe. Hopefully, I'll get it before 48 hours. this fucking guy ran for mayor
your career is going to cost you a husband. That's why they say when you have jobs like this, jobs at EMTs, jobs as doctors, police officers, whatever, it's always best to date within that industry so people can understand your work hours. I work in film, so our work hours are like 14 hours a day. And a lot of my mentors, or a few of my mentors, but a lot of people I know are like divorced multiple times because of the industry. And it's tough. My, my girlfriend knows, knows the industry, so she, she, you know, she used to work in there, so. So she she completely understands, which but a lot of people don't. A lot of significant others don't. Boy, fuck your career. Well, we gonna ask you the questions of what you what your car was doing there. Ooh, I swear to God, if he lies, he gets some back-ass answer. Oh, I swear to God. Young woman lost her life. Look at that. He knows what he did. I'm not saying he did it, but he definitely knows what's going on. He's not even shot. And he's a horrible actor. Man, not lock this motherfucker up. <laughs> no. Oh. Wait, he hid her well? All he did was locked her in the back of her trunk and put her in a river. Yeah, it sounds like he's right.
probably like 14, 15. Yeah, I don't know either. I'm just guessing. I'm sure this is like a rain machine right now that they're using. Rain machines are pretty fun. Normally on any set, they probably have like just like a sprinkler system. <laughs> it's just, just like some hose and like a sprinkler system, but on big sets, they get like the legit rain duty type uh, rain system machines. Day two. <clears throat> I tried away from the mic when I said that. Let me let me say it again in my awesome movie voice. Day two. No, that wasn't a good one. <clears throat> Day two. Ugh, I'm messing it up now. Can't imagine. Can't imagine. Sometimes I always dream about like what if I'm gone from this world and I'm just a ghost and I'm like watching everyone else just like gone with their lives and maybe some people don't care that I'm that I'm gone and obviously some people do and they're taking it really hard but some people are just just like you know I think that would be so interesting to see that I would feel like Tupac in that music video I ain't mad at you. Tell them the truth. It's going to be hard. It has to be. Can you? Goodness. You know, and then on YouTube, I think it was yesterday I was watching a video. Like I was I was searching for like some like music to put on some of my reviews and I stumbled upon somebody had made this like twenty minute kind of like little movie they did on the last day of school their senior year back in like 1995 and they filmed it all in the camcorder and it was just like them just filming just having fun filming random people saying what's up to friends and teachers and I just I just find that so amazing and so yet yeah, at the same time so crazy cause I'm like sorry for saying like a lot but when I was in high school, which I'm sure everyone in high school kind of thought like, you're not really thinking about what's gonna happen in the future per se. And in high school, leaving high school, I didn't really grasp that. And this is kind of relating to, to, the, to the show. Yeah, it's an intense scene. I didn't even grasp coming out of high school that everyone that I've seen in high school, like everybody, and obviously they're humans. What the hell is wrong with this fool? What'd he say?
Yeah, get your ass in here. I should knock your ass out. Excuse me, sorry. I can't believe he grabbed her like that. Okay, calm down. Okay, she needs to calm down. But clearly, we, we should just question her in like an hour or so. This guy is acting perfectly to be like a douchebag teenager. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, he's scared now. <laughs> Goodness gracious. So the point, the, I got caught up, I got caught up watching the show. The, the thing I was talking about earlier with that high school video, coming out of high school, I never really grasped or never really thought about what I would happen to everyone, everyone that I went to school with. And I don't really talk to anyone from high school per se. Only like, I would say honestly, three people. No, not even that, two people. And I think it's crazy no one really told us and you know it's life right life happens no one really told us but i didn't even realize that all of us were either gonna die or just never hear from them again <laughs> and that's freaking crazy to me like my friend told me today that her friend that she went to high school was like killed by a trucker which is insane. I remember a guy from my elementary school who I was cool with died a few years ago and then
That's just crazy to me. What if, okay, what if, now I'm just thinking out of the blue from what I just said. What if someone had a mutant power to know when someone's going to die? Kind of like a psychic scenes of the future type thing, but only you can't see it. You just know the exact date and the time. Wouldn't that be crazy? Oh, that would be so cool. I should start writing that. Wow. I'm going to write that down. Okay, I wrote it down. What's wrong with these people? All about politics and power. <laughs> Yeah, it's such a bad liar. <laughs> but I guess that means how great of an actor he is. Whoa, oh. <clears throat> oh lord not in the middle of the fucking rain <laughs> oh god fucking Seattle 
What's this? Hmm. Could get some samples from this. I ain't blaming these kids. Mm, yeah, you should have told her the truth, bro. Sometimes maybe you can keep secrets depending on what it is, but not not something like this. <laughs> Watch it be this guy who killed her. <laughs> the guy who's like helping with the campaign. What better time to tell them than here? I'm sure these kids can grasp someone dying. <laughs> I mean, right? Yeah, I think, I'm sure they know when someone dies. But I, I, I mean, yeah, I'm sure they're their kids, right? I'm sure they can't grasp like. Highly impressive for these kids to act like that. Wow, that was so good. You know what would make this show even better? Like Terminator music. <laughs> I was listening to the soundtrack for Terminator. Oh, it's so good. Damn, I know it's Seattle and all, but God, nothing but rain.
Why? <laughs> well, I won't. <laughs> I don't even want to fathom what's going on. What? Why would you say that to her? Look at this fucking weirdo. Look at these dumbass kids. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? How the hell did this dude get his badge? And that's what's wrong with the police force. They just let anyone walk in. <laughs> Oh shit, maybe that was just his rue to lure the kids in so he can get more information. I see how he's playing this game. <laughs> Batman would have done the same thing. No, I'm just... <laughs> that was weird. I didn't know what angle he was going at. Maybe that's what he was doing. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. It's all sus. <laughs> it's all sus at this point. Hmm. How many kids know about this spot? Oh, man.
Yeah, maybe. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, I could have guessed that. Hmm. Yeah, I imagine. Yeah, hey, don't bait me with this shit, man. I got a fucking life. How dare you? You should know for being a father of four. they found another body maybe Shows in good, man. <clears throat> you know, I think I think it shot well. I'm not gonna say it's like the best cinematography ever, right? It's just shot well. It's good lighting and all that good stuff. But I think it's the acting and the story that really kind of takes it together. And you know, I'm always interested in like murder shows and like murder mysteries and, and stuff like that. What's some fucking losers? <laughs> Look at y'all. Yeah, and tell her how you found it. <laughs> what? Hmm. What do I feel like we need to find out what happens before 24 hours or before 48 hours, which I know that's not going to happen. Oh, no, don't tell me. Do not tell me. I don't think I can handle it. <laughs> uh, 
Look at her. See, they always got to end a scene, a really intense scene on her face. They have to. <laughs> they just have to. Who brought her down here? Interesting. Oh, episode two is better than the first one. It was even better than the first one. I'm going to watch episode three later today. I'm going to record it. That was pretty good. That was pretty damn good. Uh, I don't even know what to say for this outro. I mean, I feel like, well, if it's based on that Danish show, you know what? When I'm done with this show, I'm going to watch the Danish show. Oh, that's probably not in English, though. Hmm. I'm not sure they got like dub or something. I'm gonna watch that one. I'm gonna see how close it is. It's probably not. In, I'm sure it's probably like nothing the same. Knowing how America, America likes to take certain shows. Oh, excuse me. Knowing how America likes to take certain shows uh, from different countries and just make it their own little thing. But yeah, uh, hmm. We can, we can all speculate and make guesses and things of that nature. I honestly want to guess that I think the campaign guy, the mayor guy, the guy who's running for mayor, I think he's innocent, although he's hiding something. I do think... Hmm... You know what? And I'm going to hate this show if I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fucking hate this show if I'm if I'm right with this guess. I think I know who killed her. It's the teacher, the black teacher who I said was from the Power Rangers in the first episode. I think he did it. I think he did it. He was there. He was there. He was there that dance. I think he was there. I don't know if he was there. <laughs> I have no evidence. <laughs> I think I think he did it. I'm going to really guess that he did it. I've seen enough TV shows, seen enough murder mysteries and all that stuff. I am locking this answer in indubitably. <laughs> he did it. And I think he got a student to help him. Like, hey, tell her she's down here or whatever or something. I don't know. No, no, no. The teacher did it. The black teacher did it. I think so. And if he did do it and that's where the show is going. I fucking hate this show. <laughs> I'm going to tell people this show is really good, but I fucking hate it. And I don't recommend this shit. <laughs> Excuse my language, but oh yeah, I think, I think he did it. I'm going to tell my brother about this show. I think, I think I told my brother and my uncle about it, but um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Sorry, right, Starfighter. So that was the full episode review. Let me know what you thought about the episode. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Uh, let me know in the comments below. But until then, victory or death, starfighters. <laughs>